most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having one of the challenges of working for a company is how you meet people through that organization you see you're an employee of a company which means everything you do everything you say is really a liability not only to you but also to your company whether you're on the clock or out of the clock you're still a part of that company I used to really genuinely admire and appreciate a woman who worked for a bank that I had my well my banking and finances with for more than 20 years I trusted her implicitly with my money whether we were having a good moment in time or a rough year and I really valued the fact that even if I accidentally ran into her out in the community she was always polite she always remembered my name we had personal exchanges but I always kept the professional line of who she was to me most young people today don't think about that when they're working for a company they do build relationships with customers because you have to do that in today's world we need clients we need relational interactions with people we need loyalty from the people who buy from us so that they'll pick our company over other places that they can use their well discretionary income the money that they earn right the things that they decide to spend their extra dollars on and you can sit outside a company that you are loyally to and expect them to treat you appropriately every time whether you bought today or whether you bought yesterday it really shouldn't matter because a loyal customer to you is still worth one that is not loyal to you it's worth greater than one loyal to you what we're talking about of course is the liability of you when you wear and don a shirt for a company whether you're fully employed there or part-time employed there or just pulling a all-nighter there you have to understand that you are liable for the company so anything you do to that food you are liable for anything you say or present to other people you are liable for I had a loving girl provide me a bottle of lemonade and some leftover food they had put into as they usually do at the end of the night throw away because it's timed out in their version and their concept of what is safe food to use or dispose of I was grateful because at that moment in time I was a little nibbly and there was nothing wrong with it she also provided me some product that they do throw away at the end of the night regularly and that wasn't a problem because it was still good food to me but not good food for them to in terms of saleable food but she still did that on behalf of her company as much as she might have made the personal decision or the manager on duty a good quality young professional black man might have made the decision because I kind of helped him pull some furniture inside because I recognized in the last week they lost some from people thieving from them they didn't think about or want to be <clears throat> about locking the furniture down in some way they understood the value of taking the furniture in and out after several days and I sort of felt guilty because I felt like mentioning it to a young manager that he should do that but I thought surely somebody at their corporate office would have told him that but in life we have moments of time to decide am I liable for that and I'm not liable for their furniture at all it was just an old man's kindness to think about doing it but they were exceptionally busy as they should be they're always slammed on the weekend but what I've discovered in sitting there outside that vehicle outside other places of restaurants where I work and where I do my business and where I take my hard-earned discretionary dollars is a lot of companies don't realize how little the local population knows about their food its prices or how much quality and good it offers them